guys, how's everybody doing? It's kind of an overcast day outside today, but I figured I would do this review because I've been wanting to review this for a pretty long time, and I figured that it was time to just get on with it. So today I'm going to be reviewing this makeup right here. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. You can find this in Walmart and possibly Ulta Beauty. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not even sure if you can find it in Publix. I haven't been paying attention as much. But I do know that I picked this up from Walmart and it was around somewhere between four to five dollars. I don't remember the exact price and I do apologize for that. The shade that I got this in was shade number 368, which is a deep golden. And I ended up pretty much taking that along with something else to see if it would match my skin tone perfectly. So, and this one turned out to be the best one. Now, I do want to point out that before I get into this review, I just kind of want to throw in a bit of a disclaimer. Right now, even as I'm reviewing makeup, I am currently all natural. I am not wearing any makeup, not even a drop of makeup. The only thing that's on my face right now is a moisturizer and some unrefined shea butter for my dry lips. I do understand that there are some people that cannot rock the all natural look. Maybe it's because of a skin condition or maybe you just love makeup. In my opinion, do you. Do whatever makes you feel beautiful because all women need to feel beautiful. With all that being said, I would also like to point out that I am currently not somebody that wears a ton of makeup. I prefer to just go like this. Go, go completely like this so everybody can see what I look like. So, if anything, the only time where I wear makeup is on like a very formal occasion. This could be in a very professional setting, like, I don't know. If I was sitting with a board of executives and I had to talk to them or I was doing a presentation to them or if I was at a very formal event like let's say a, a wedding, a funeral, maybe graduation which I will get into later on in this video then that would be the only time I wear makeup. Now like I said I did pick it up and this stuff is particularly geared towards people with normal to oily maybe combination skin. Now I do have a chance to have, my skin is mostly towards the oily side. I'm not sure if it's completely combination. I just know that it tends to get very oily, especially when I'm working in the restaurant or when I'm just on the go like this because I tend to be very, very busy. So I figured I'd pick this up since I really don't wear makeup and I was kind of looking into wearing a bit of makeup. When I do wear makeup, it's very minimal. It's very minimal and I like to keep it natural looking so that it looks like my face and I don't look like a I don't look like a store mannequin. I prefer to keep my makeup very natural looking as much as possible. So I end up picking up this since it's just foundation and nothing else. Unfortunately, I would have to say that I really, really do not like this and I'm gonna state why. But the thing is, I didn't just use it only one time and do this. I actually used it a couple times and I used it on three occasions. The first one was just straight up slap this stuff right on my face using this. Unfortunately, this is dirty and I need to clean it. It's just, it's not good to look at. But I end up using this little beauty sponge right here. And I would also use this brush which I originally used for the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue which I still do have a review on if you want to see it. It's an old review back when I was in the dorm but I would use this to kind of smooth out everything on my face. I know it's not meant for that but hey if you can multi-purpose your tools and keep them nice and handy I mean what are you gonna do? The first time that I used this I used this straight up on my face. No primer, no setting spray, no nothing. I just wanted to see how well it worked on my face. And surprisingly, this stuff went on very smooth. A little goes a long way and it's very liquidy. Yeah, it's very liquidy. I'm not gonna pour it out for you, but a little goes a long way with this stuff. That's probably why it's packaged in like a one fluid ounce bottle. But I only needed like a few dabs or two, like maybe two dabs on my cheeks one dab maybe one to two dabs on my forehead and one dab on my t-zone areas which is this area and then possibly my chin and then i would just smooth it out so the first time that i used this i used this with no primer no setting spray because i wanted to really test it to see if it works well by itself 
Unfortunately, it did not work very well by itself. Within the hour that I was going out, I would say around maybe the 30 to 35 minute mark, my skin started caking up and I just started looking like I had just ran a marathon. I do not like that. Considering that this stuff is supposed to keep you matte and poreless for a long, for the majority of the day, it didn't do so for me. And I know this was because I didn't use primer or any kind of setting spray to keep it in place and what have you. I just slapped it on and kept moving. So this was partially my fault. So in order to rectify this, this, this led to my second attempt, which was to use it with, what was the name of that primer? I believe the primer that I used for it was NYX Shine Killer because I actually did a review on this a long time ago and it worked okay. It, it was a decent primer, but I mostly used it by itself. So I figured maybe I would use it with this to see if it did a decent job. Well, I did that. I applied the primer, let it set in for around five to eight minutes to make sure it was fully set. And then I went ahead and smoothed this on. It seemed to work a bit better. I would say around maybe for an hour, maybe an hour and 20 minutes before the cakiness and the sweaty face syndrome started to sit in. So if anything, I would say this combined with NYX Shine Killer is okay. At least it works for me. Now results may vary. Your mileage may vary. But with NYX Shine Killer, this works okay. It just works okay. I end up doing some digging on the internet since I was running low on funds and somebody and a couple of ladies actually mentioned that combining their makeup with this stuff, which is the Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shave Balm, it made their makeup stay almost all day and gave them a matte look. Now I was kind of wary about trying this method to be honest with you because I was like, aftershave on my face as primer? I don't know about that. I said, what the heck, let me try it. So I did. I decided to go ahead and get this 3.3 fluid ounce bottle. I do use it as an aftershave, like, like what it's directed for, especially when I shave, but that's not the point of this review. I used it on my face and neck as a primer of sorts after I've applied my moisturizer and I let it set for at least the usual time, five to seven to eight minutes. And then I went ahead and smoothed the little, little dots of this stuff on. And honestly, the best example that I can give to you that I've actually used this combination was my college graduation photo that I took within the confinements of this house here that I'm filming at, which I will show you right now. Okay, so as you can see in the photo, I'm actually wearing, the, I was actually wearing this, this combination on my face along with some, um, Vaseline from my lips and what have you and I took the photo just like that now right then because I was only taking that photo for like maybe 30 minutes it lasted just fine it did just fine no cakiness whatsoever but that's only in the short amount of time I wore the same combination right here for my college graduation and the results were just two thumbs down not good at all my face caked up it was just sweaty everywhere and obviously I was in the middle of the graduation ceremony so I couldn't just get up and walk to the bathroom to go smooth it back down or pat my face down or anything like that so the results were pretty disastrous so if anything I'm gonna keep using this as an aftershave at best so for my skin for my results personally this combination did not work so well if anything, I'm not even sure if Maybelline has a primer. I'll have to do more research because, like I said, I don't wear makeup as much. But I do know that makeup tends to do a little better when you got a primer and what have you. So I think Maybelline probably has a primer. If you know, if you know how many primers that Maybelline has, tell me in the comments below because I really would like to know. This, all in all, this stuff is just average at best. It's really good for somebody who is probably on a budget and can't afford high-end makeup brands like MAC, Urban Decay, uh, what else? Naked. Is Naked part of Urban Decay? Yeah, I think so. There's Urban Decay, there's MAC, there's, let's see, Cover FX, there's La Mercier. 
Mercier. There's also, there's plenty, there's so many makeup brands out there. Most of them are high end, and I know this because I tend to wander in Ulta Beauty and Sephora a lot. But this is pretty good. From, this is okay for somebody who's on a budget, but I highly recommend that you use a darn good primer for this because your results may vary. For me, NYX Shine Killer seem to be the key for it. It's not the best, but it works. And I can't wear this stuff for a long period, period of time. At best, I can only wear this stuff within the hour, within the first hour. Because after that, it's just straight up sweaty face and cakey face all together. And it, it just makes me want to run to the bathroom to go wash this stuff off. Speaking of washing off, it's very difficult to remove this stuff without makeup remover, which again is my fault for not having it. I tried soap and water. It took at least two tries to get it off. Now I did hear that you can use oil or something to get it off. I'm kind of scared to do that because I my skin tends to go on the oily side. But I'm willing to give it a shot. But all in all, there's not much more I want to say about this except that it's good for a lady who is on a budget and can't afford high-end makeup. But in the long run, it's better if you start with this to begin with, especially if you are not big on makeup like me. And then once you get better at it, upgrade to much more expensive brands. So with this, I would probably give it maybe 2.5 out of 5 flowers, 2.5 out of 5 stars. I probably won't try it again because I want to move on to other brands. So that's pretty much all I have to say about this particular stuff. If you've used Maybelline, like, if you use this particular kind, Fit Me Matte and Poreless, or if you used another brand of Maybelline makeup, tell me your experiences in the comments below. And like I said, if you know if Maybelline has any primers, tell me what they are in the comments below. I'll probably find out via a Google search, but it's better to hear from you guys. If you do like my review, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And I would like to say welcome to the new subscribers to my channel. More will be coming soon. I've just been really really busy yeah just really 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 busy and i haven't had the time to talk to you guys so a big warm welcome to all you subscribers out there especially the new ones a thumbs up if you appreciate on this video and really i would love to just hear your experiences and your comments on this okay guys i read the comments and i respond to them don't worry i don't ignore you guys so thank you all for watching this video and i have to I have to go because it's getting near lunchtime and I have to figure out what to eat. So I will see you guys in the next video, okay? Just stay healthy, stay warm, and stay safe. See you later, everybody.